Let's solve this logarithmic equation. Notice that we have log base 2 of x, and we also have log base x of 2. By direct inspection, if x equals 2, that would be a solution, because you would have the same quantity subtracted by itself. While this is a solution, it is not the complete set of solutions. So we need to explore other cases. Okay, so what we want to do is hopefully make these logarithms look the same. I'm going to move that other term over to the other side. And there is a property for logarithms that allows you to reverse the x and the 2, for example, in the second quantity. This property is as follows. It's referred to as the reciprocal property. You can see we have log base a of b, and that's the reciprocal of log base b of a. Applying that to the right-hand side gives us what we need, two quantities that look the same. Let's multiply both sides by log base 2 of x. So we end up with that quantity squared, which equals 1. When you have anything that's squared and it equals 1, you can take the square root. But don't forget to include the negative part. This leads to two cases. And those two cases would be when the logarithm equals positive 1 or negative 1. Let's explore those cases separately. In the first case, we have a base of 2 and an exponent of 1. So x equals 2 to the 1 which simplifies to x equals 2. This is the solution that we found quickly at the beginning of this question. The second case, we have a base of 2 and an exponent of negative 1. This is not as obvious to find, although I know there are many astute people here could, that could have guessed x equals a half is the other solution. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.